Hello and welcome to Stuff They Should Have Taught You in School. I'm your host, as always, Monsui. A quick thank you to listeners and subscribers out there. I do hope that you find some value out of these podcasts I've been putting out for a couple of years now. Um, Also, please do subscribe, share the podcast episode, email me if you found it useful or for any topic requests or anything like that. Um, Or any suggestions, maybe, you know, particular episodes or maybe in general. Maybe it's the volume, maybe the quality of the mic isn't great. Maybe I'm having too many sips of water during the thing. Like, I don't know these things until you tell me. So please do email me. My email address is in every single episode. At the end, I say it, it's monsuitonicloud.com. And it's also in the show notes as well. Um, also, a disclosure, these are done in one take. If you've been listening for a while, you would know. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... So before, so let's just get straight into it. The law of vibration. What is this? Vibration, vibration, vibration. You hear people talk about, oh, they've got a good vibe, or they don't have a good vibe, or I'm not feeling a good vibe from them. When you deep, when you go down into this law, it essentially says that everything in the universe that exists within this universe that we see, tangible and intangible, everything moves in cycles or circles. Essentially, that is a vibration. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Round and round, round and round. So everything has its own unique vibration. Everything that you see around you, everything that you touch has its own unique vibration. Some One way to sort of help people understand this may be so you can see colour, right? So colour is a specific type of vibration. Within that range, you've got all of these different colours. So what we've got here is the items that have got a specific color, say red or blue, they have, they emit, they they basically have a certain energy to it, a certain vibration to it that then emits it and then you receive it as those colors. Now, the vast scale of all vibrations, on the vast scale of all vibrations in the world, color is just a very, very small point. Um, The vibrations are in everything. Everything, including this computer I'm recording it on, although it looks solid, really, everything inside there is going vibrating really, really fast. The table, you know, it's vibrating so fast that you actually can't put your hand through it. Whereas when you've got stuff that vibrates slower, but much, much slower, you can put your hand through it. And so vibration is waves. And waves is energy. And when we look at it, on a, um, when we look at it, um, you know, more deeply on a a physics point of view, rather than a spirituality point of view, we see something called wave particle duality. What that shows is that everything that is waves is solid, and everything that is solid is waves, and waves is essentially energy, so everything is energy. Everything is energy, but in, for example, a football or well, let's use the example of a golf ball or a brick, the waves are so tightly packed that it appears solid. But in a scientific experiment, if you were to a- if you were able to push that golf ball and shoot it out a essentially a gap that is so small, it would emit uh, wave like wave like um, properties, and also, if you were to then zoom, 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 zoom right into a golf ball, you would see that, in fact, there is more space than solid. And, in fact, that everything within that, all the atoms, is just energy, and energy is waves. So how, if we can understand that everything around us emits waves or energy, or it vibrates on some sort of frequency that then emits it in that way, and you can understand that you yourself emit some sort of vibe or some sort of vibration or frequency or energy. And you can see it, like I said, people say you've got a good vibe, you've got a vi- bad vibe, whatever it may be. Um, but what we can see is that we can actually ch- change our own vibration. So just hold on to that thought. If we were able to change our vibration. Now, let's look at it. How? can we actually use this now if we understand everything fundamentally is vibrations or fundamentally is waves 
how can we actually use this? It's all good and well knowing some things, but how do we actually put this into practice and find some actual tangible value that we can put in our day-to-day -day lives? Well, on the spirituality side, you'll see a lot of stuff. There's a stone that is colour blue or green or something, and if you wear it, you will find your true love, or you will do something, or you will have lots of money, and this, you will do this or that. In theory, we can see that that could work, because that stone essentially emits vibrations and those vibrations may interact with your vibrations and change it slightly. So we can see that in theory it could work, but does it actually work? Would we actually need like, say, 10 kilograms of this stone rather than just one tenth or 10 grams? You know, I, I don't know whether this works or not. I haven't put much research into it. I, you know, you can believe it. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But I would argue that if you believe, if you really believe that these things work, then they will work. But if you believe and you really believe that they don't work, they won't work. So why is, why is this? Well, it's actually because of the same thing, the vibration. So if you believe that that works, you are changing your vibration to believe that. And when you look at it into like a personal development side of things as well, you understand that, okay, if I believe something and then actually what happens is the brain will affirm it and they will it will look it will look around to tell you things that affirm that so for example if you tell yourself you're stupid you're stupid you're stupid your brain will pick out moments in your life to prove to you that you are correct it will prove to you that you are stupid because you've told your brain that but if you prove if you tell yourself that you are absolutely very clever you're great problem solving there's nothing that you cannot um, there's nothing you can't handle and anything that you think that you can't handle you would be able to grow into and you would then be able to handle it then essentially you know you're raising that vibration as it were now I get it can be a bit wishy-washy and really I mean I'm an analytical guy I'm a numbers guy as well as well as being creative in some areas but you know you, I'm the type of guy to get down okay what's the real tangible sort of thing but in this, it's more wishy-washy, it's more la di da a little bit. But we can still understand it and still use it. So we can see, okay, if we say to ourselves, you know, X is good or X is bad. Even though that in itself it's neutral. Everything in itself is neutral. It's only that you're thinking that makes it good or bad. If you say, and like, for example, if you're always complaining, you will get more. You'll get more complaints. You will find ways to, you will find, your brain will look out for these things. By saying to your own self that those are important, you've changed that vibration. And to change, and to change that vibration is basically putting something out into the universe. And you can see in, you know, algebra, in physics and everything. And you see that on one side of the equation has to equal the other side of the equation, right? What goes in comes out. Even when you've got wasted energy, that's still on the other side of the equation. But what goes in comes out, right? So if you go in, you go in and you tell yourself that it's all crap. Everything is bad. I'm bad at this. I'm bad at maths and all this bullshit that you know is bullshit. But you still tell it to yourself. You still say it to yourself. Um, so I just got someone calling me. Um... You you say it to you you say it to yourself, and uh, and then what you do is that your your brain actually you you actually change that vibration. What goes out of the universe, your vibration, will then come back in a different way, and what you see is what you get. What you tell yourself is important is what you get. What you look for is what you get. It's just like a word search. If you're gonna look for a swear word, you're probably gonna find the like. Imagine an infinite world word search. This is what the world is like. An infinite word search. If you search for love, you're going to find love. If you search for hate, you're going to find hate. If you search for problems, you're going to find problems. If you search for solutions, you're going to find solutions. So we can actually set our vibration. So going back to these stone stuff. So again, if you believe it, then yeah, it probably will work for you. If you don't believe it, it probably won't work for you. Um, but we can set our vibration. Or, why don't we replace vibration with intention? 
set our intention and the universe will seemingly conspire to make it work for you, whether that is positive or negative, whether it's perceived as positive or negative, I should say. So anyway, that was a bit of a wishy-washy. I think we're getting into a couple of wishy-washy episodes here. Let me know if you like it, if you like it, if you, or if you don't like it, if you want proper hardcore crap that is like, you know, these are the laws, this is what you can do, and this is how people have tried to screw me over and how you can learn from it, which is what I've done previously. Or mortgages. Let's really talk about mortgages, how how they work, how to make, how to actually leverage them and make them work for you, or anything like that. Anyway, email me topic requests. Like I said, email me feedback. Email me if you want to come on the podcast and you want to interview me or just have a chat. Whatever. Um, You have been listening to stuff they should have taught you in school. I've been your host, Monsui, as always. My email address is monsui at iCloud.com. Please like, subscribe, share the episode. Give me a rating on iTunes, Android, Google Play, whatever it is. And I will see you on the next episode. In the meantime... Just be a little bit, uh, be conscious of your vibration. What are you putting out into the world?